Welcome along everyone, one to episode 9 now in Earthquake and the season has progressed but it's progressed exactly as the first 30 games went. We're winning and we're losing, we're winning and we're losing and now we're in the running. There's the schedule and you can see there's a few more reds sneaking in there more than greens which is a little bit worrying. So we've got some work to do. We drew another two games which means we've drew the massive total of three all season. But we've started to lose some away games. We've lost all of our losses recently just looking at that. Been away from home so I think I need to have a little reassessment of the 4-4-2 away from home. and Maybe tighten up a little bit. Here's the league table. Here we are the league table, 40 games gone, 6 to go, we sit in 6, exactly where we left you last time, 10 games later, won 23, drawn 3, lost 14, which is massive, massive, it's the most defeats in the top 10, but we're still there, we're still there fighting, and we're only 6 points off automatic, I don't know, I don't think we can do that, we need to hold on to our playoff place, which is two points that's the first aim and if we can just chip away at that third place you never know do you you never know goals haven't been a problem we've scored 75 that's a load but we have conceded 46 which is more than a goal a game and that has been our Achilles heel what we're going to do now is going to play a few games and then see where we go I reckon we'd probably need to win five out of six to get automatic promotion Okay, two games have passed. We've won both of them, and one of them was huge. We just beat AFC Wimbledon there at home, two, uh, three one, thanks to a hat trick from Montel. So we're in the shake up, sixth place. We're three points off automatic with four games to go. By the way, in the last episode, I said I thought Montel might not be good enough for League Two. Here he is, big Montel. Move my fat head. You can see from his stats there, he's had another good season. Bless him, seventeen goals. In 26 games, 26 starts. I apologise, Montel. You could be this year's Nathan Bizet. If you haven't heard of Nathan Bizet, I can't go there. It's too emotional. Four games to go. Let's get on with a couple more. Then we'll see where we're at. This is going down to the wire. So we're going to do this match because. You don't get many matches like this. There we are, we are currently sat in automatic promotion. Third place with 87 points. I presume it's on goal scored because we've got the exact same goal difference as Cambridge. But we're above them. So we've got we've got above them on goal scored. Problem is our next game is against Leighton Orient. You can see Leighton Orient there are in sixth. But it's at home. We're we're in charge of our own destiny. We can still finish second. But Man, give me this now. Take your hand off. Let's go. This is the team we're going with for this ginormous match. It's a 4-4-2. We're playing at home. We've got to be positive. We've got to try and get the win. We can't rely on other teams to do the business for us. We've got Montel up front. 20 goals this season. Everything I said about him in that other episode is totally wrong. He's had another blitz of a season. Griffith starts up front ahead of Wooten. Just, just. He scored two goals in his last five. He's shown a bit of form. Wooten's dropping off a bit. Griffith starts up front. Other than that, Williams, Butterfield, they're my midfield too. I've got McCann there. If I need to get a bit more creativity, he will come on because he's been nice coming off the bench recently. But I'm going to start with that massive game. I did not expect to get promoted this season, especially not automatic, but we have got a chance. Underway in the biggest game we've had so far, and it is a lashing down in Darlow. It's a super tight start. Got the other scores coming through. None of note as of yet. Big gone clearance, Ungoy gets a header up, well done Son. Comes back, here's their danger man Satrio. Gotta stand him up, hits just wide. The problem we've got today is Leighton Orient need to get results to get in the playoffs, so they're gonna be mad for it as well. Ball and have come behind, so we're actually in second place as it stands. Cross comes in from Hall. McIntyre with a humongous save, Jesus. Throw comes in from Orient Clarkson. In it comes. McIntyre saves, we might have to change something here, we're just under the cosh a bit. Right, Truman, big heave up front, we've got to win that ball, we're not. Definitely 
under the cosh here. Here he comes through again. Massive tackle again. 20 minutes, all Leighton Orient. Corner ball. This is the worst we've played. We've won five in a row. So the way this season's gone, we're due a loss or two, aren't we? As it stands, Grimsby Town have just scored. That moves them into second, drops us to third. This is stupidly tight. Here come Orient again. Don't like the look of this at all. Hits. Just wide. Clinging. Not getting done with a ball over the top. Thompson cleans it up. Well done, son. Here's Boris and Goy. Luke Garber. Have a look, son. Here's Danny Williams. 16 assists this season. Could they be 17? That's a knock to Gibson. Finally, we have a shot on target after 40 minutes. A couple of minutes to half time. Another attack from Leighton Orient. You can see they're trying to get in the playoffs here. Oh, brilliant tackle from Milan Butterfield. The big man. He's like Vieira. Storms forward. Here's, Mo here's Rio Griffiths. He hits. Oh, what a chance, man. What a chance. Half time. Half time. As it stands, we're going up. Everyone's drawing. Grimsby have knocked Bolton out of the automatic places at the minute. Second half underway. I am considering bringing Charlie McCann on in behind one striker, but I don't want to do it yet. Because we need a goal. Gibson stands over it, hits. Nothing. Go in. Counter attack from Leighton Orient. Tactical foul. My eyes are panning to the right hand side of the screen there, watching the Cambridge score against Oldham. We still cling on to third place at the minute. Bolton look out of it, they're 2 0 down to MK Dons. 65 minutes gone. Do we stick or twist? Do we keep this draw? Because we're not playing well. Here come Orient again. Someone make a challenge. Nothing silly, boys. Big, big block. Hammered clear. Cambridge still drawn. We're still clinging on to third place. 15 minutes to go. It's still 0-0 at Oldham Cambridge. It's 0-0 here. McIntyre cleans that up for us. Can we get this goal to guarantee that we go into League One at the first time of asking? McIntyre holds on to it. He must know something we don't. It's a horrible clearance. Ogle back over the top. Danger, danger. Oh! It's been coming. It was that horrible clearance there after he held on to it. Oh my god. Danger man all day long. Puts it in. Panic stations. Confirmation in the corner. Cambridge going up. We are not. We need to respond and quick. We've only got 15 minutes to do so. Is Aaron Rowe down the right? Come on, son. Keep going, my son. Oh, it's taken off him. It's just not clicked today. Here's Butterfield. That's a nice ball though. Here's Aaron Rowe around the back. Can he supply the bullets? He whips it in. Nothing doing. Danny Williams. Come on, my lad. Milan Butterfield. Griffiths. They're trying to work their way in. Gibson hits. It's going to come to Zelly Ishmael. Big chance. Crosses Gibson. Oh. Instead, it's Leighton Orient who come on the attack. What are the boys doing here? Got to win it back. He's got to be offside. And he is. He is offside. Five minutes to go. It looks like in playoffs. One minute to go. We can't do this again like last season, can we? Aaron Rowe, long throw comes in. Wooten gets there. McCann. Wooten. Oh, chance. Okay, Dons are going up bottom. Cambridge have gone behind. Can you believe what's happened here today? Last 30 seconds. Last of the kick of the match. And Goy, long throw. Nothing doing. It looks like the playoffs for us, boys. Absolute heartbreaker. After a great run at the end of the season. Ungoy lashes it forward. There's full time. Oh. Playoffs. How devastating is that? It was between... Start of the game, it was Bolton, us, Cambridge. And we've all ended up in the playoffs. And Grimsby and MK Dons have took it. We missed it by a point. A point. Oh, I can't believe it. The points we've given away this season. 15 defeats. It's finally come to bite us on the ass. So looking at that, it looks like we'll be playing Cambridge in the playoffs. Cambridge who beat us twice in the league campaign. Ah, still mortified. Well, I was all set to record the final for everyone to watch. But unfortunately, we've got knocked out in the playoffs by Cambridge. Toss. So we lost the first leg 3-1, dominated again, 
Beat them 2-1 in the second leg. Went for it with a 4-2-4. Wasn't enough. So it's another season in League 2. I knew this save wasn't going to be shits and giggles where we were just going to zoom straight into uh, the higher leagues. I'm going to have to graft through another season in League 2. And my worry is I don't know if we'll be able to better this performance where we ended up finishing 5th with 88 point, 87 points. I mean, that's massive. But we did lose 15 games, but we won 28. We won the most games in the league last season. But we're not going up. So lessons will be learned, and they will involve the formations that I'm going to play away from home next season. Because a little bit too cavalier, one thinks. 15 defeats, we need to fix that. And we're going to do that now. Flash forward and here we are. I'm keeping my 4-4-2 for home games. There it is. Away games. We're going to be a bit more pragmatic. Pragmatic? Pragmatic. And we're going to go 4-4-1-1 in the harder games. The other games we're going to stick with 4-4-2. But this is what we're going with. And you can see the gaps in my team there. It's reshape time. So I'm going to need a right back because Gamfi is a lone player. And to be honest, he hasn't hasn't convinced me. And my entire midfield are going to have to change because three of those were on loan. And they're all going back to their clubs and they're out of contracts. So it's unlikely we're going to get them. So I need a whole new midfield. Five new players. My bench is okay. I don't want a crazy summer, but we have got some work to do. Next season is going to be hard to pick them up after that. But we did win 28 games this season, predominantly playing this tactic. I just got it wrong away from home. So I need to sort my shit out. We've got an away formation. We've got two away formations to work with. Ready for season five. It's another grafter in League 2. 